What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime coming back at you with another video. In today's video guys, I am bringing you my review of Prince of Stride Episode 2. So let's get this started. So pretty much this episode was just set up and it focused on Takeru and Riku. Probably more so Riku because, uh, you know, Takeru and the rest of his teammates were trying to bring the best out of him when it came to running because he wasn't running at his maximum potential compared to the rest of the other players and that is when he had to have Takeru help him out and also we got introduced to other characters which also gave him hints on how exactly he can match his speed. We get introduced to the guy with the long white hair who is known as Kyosuke and he ends up telling Riku you know what, try to wait for the wind. As the wind passes, that is when I want you to run your fastest and that is where we will see your maximum speed potential and that is exactly what uh, Riku takes into consideration in order to match the same speed and timing as Takeru. Also, we got introduced to the official coach of the Stride team, and he is already setting up matches, so it looks like we'll be able to see, uh, you know, everything start to pick up in Prince of Stride very soon, because now we'll be able to see more matches being played, and it looks like in the next episode, um, we are going to see our team end up facing the notorious uh, Prince of Stride team uh, that uh, Takeru and Riku ended up meeting in the garage at that one modeling place. Um, they weren't originally going to go up against them. They were actually going to go up against a another team that was not as good as them. But already, they are going to be facing a strong team already. So, um, judging by how this is going to play out, I'm pretty sure that, you know, they are going to win because it at, least, it at least takes characters in an anime to at least win a few matches before they officially lose a match. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest of this episode mainly focused on our team members just going to a modeling shoot and basically making their debut appearances, I guess you can say, because really they are making their overall appearances known in the official Stride magazine. And what this will do is end up ending up uh, help them get more matches so that way other stride members can ending up seeing them in the magazine and then they'll be like hmm we should face them and see what they are capable of so that is pretty much uh, what went down in this episode so yeah pretty much just to summarize what went down in this episode we have uh, Takeru and Riku training in order to get their timing down right number two we see our team go into a modeling shoot in order to make their names a publicly known in the official stride magazine so basically making their debut Number three, we also get to we get introduced to some of the other members on other various stride teams and these new players will be introduced in the coming episodes to come when our team ends up going against them in the near future. And number four, I didn't bring this up earlier, but number four, we have it to where we find out that Riku is actually the younger son of the infamous stride player Tomoe. As far as the animation in this episode goes, I know I got a lot of hate. I have more dislikes on my first episode, on my first impressions of the series, but let's be honest, there were some dirt moments in the first episode of Prince of Stride. As far as this episode goes when it comes to the animation, the animation was really good for the most part. I didn't really see anything too out there compared to the uh, previous episode, so yeah. The animation was good in this episode. So, yeah, that about does it for this episode, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you actually thought about this episode of Princess Stride and how are you feeling about the overall series. Also, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to stay up to date to my future content on this channel, please hit that red subscribe button below and you'll never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Catch you guys next time.